welcome back to Gmade CNC. Uh, this video is just going to be a quick one, uh, just kind of an update on a few of the mods that we have done to the lathe here in previous videos. Um, just things that I've slightly tweaked since the video. Uh, one is the electronic edge finder. Um, I had a problem with the LED light in the side, it's got some holes in it, and uh, I'd get cooling in there, and it was actually making contact. And um, it wound up keeping the light on, the LED light on all the time. It wound up killing the batteries and stuff. So I just went out to Home Depot and picked up some, uh, I believe it's three quarter inch clear tubing. And just cut it down the size and slid it over. Um, haven't had a single issue since then. And you can see the LED light through that with no problems. So that was just something real quick. Um, I just switched over to uh, quality cam uh, coolant. That was just another quick update for that. Uh, another quick little mod. I had, when I swapped over, I realized that there was so many chips in the bottom because of the 3 sixteenths holes that were there. So this is just some mesh out of a, uh, I believe it is a train furnace. Um, washable filter and uh, very fine, but the coolant gets through with no problems. And it's washable. You can pick it up at any one of your local uh, HVAC uh, supply houses. Uh, and the other one is, if anybody has done this collar closer or planning on doing it, when the collar closer was opened all the way, I had problems adjusting the collet. Um, I thought it was just too much pressure put on here, so I have to release the air off of it, and then I could spin it with no problems. So I didn't care for that too much, so I started taking it apart, seeing where it was binding and stuff. Couldn't find anything. As I was putting it back together, I realized that it was binding right, right here. So let's open that back up. So this outer ring here was rubbing right in here. So I just had to shave it down just a hair and uh, I haven't had any problems with it since then. You could use a file. Um, I just used like this air Dremel and just cleaned it up ever so slightly and just kept working it back and forth. I haven't had a problem with it since. I can have the collet fully opened, fully closed. And it rotates beautifully. No binding, no issues. So this is just a quick update. Um, got a few things coming up in the next week or so. We'll be doing the bar puller. A whole video on uh, installing it. Uh, hooking it up. Programming, stuff like that. So this just come over grab it, pull it back, release, and then go home. We have that, and I have a coolant upgrade for the Tormach mill. Another video on that coming up. Um, but yeah, stay tuned, and uh, please comment below if you guys got any questions or email me. All right, I appreciate it. Take care, guys.